My grandfather was Salvatore Ferragamo. My grandfather had an amazing insight to really begin his creation uh, of products with, with the celebrity world. He became known as the Shoemakers to the Star, creating shoes not only for the most famous American actress such as O.J. Hepburn, Melanie Monroe, but also the Italian ones such as Sophie Loren. Today, uh, we still carry on that tradition and so we still um, collaborate with a lot of uh, actresses and celebrities um, that have passion for the Ferragamo product. I'm ferragamo out from head to toe. I love Salvatore. <laughs> I feel very elegant and lovely. And it's a good mix of old school and new school. It's classically chic and elegant and whatever you buy, especially with the handbags and the shoes you have, you know, for a lifetime. They're sexy. They make you feel sexy. They make you feel like you're a Hollywood starlet, whether you are or not. Traditional in the best sense of the word. I love Salvatore. Fragon wants to convey uh, the passion that we all put in the creation of these products. So the creation of a product which is, brings a piece of Italy from the concept of craftsmanship to the superior quality and always innovation in style and design. My favorite shoes and handbag for the fall collections are some of the modern uh, interpretation of some of our icons. This shoe, created by my aunt in 1979, the Varina, the name of the shoe, it's a ballerina as a flat and a very easy shoe, uh, still maintaining that Ferragamo personalization of the bow with the grow grain. This is the famous uh, Marisa handbag. So here it's a personal knife with the Gancino closure and the two side Gancinos uh, uh, that uh, are the symbol that represents this bag together with the pleating that you see on the front. Uh, this style is an interpretation of the Marisa again with the uh, Genshino closure. But what's important about this is uh, this patent, patent leather and also the color, which is very deep red. The shoe is a modern interpretation of the Audrey sole, but in this case done more in a graphic way. So the heel uh, more conal uh, with a slight edge coming in uh, on the inside. Metallic, a very important trend for this season, have almost become a natural. Uh, tone for Ferragamo. So um, in this case you see the Gancino personalization still being uh, woven onto the leather. The boots also, uh, this glitter glitter suede, so giving it that shine but at the same, at the same time it's a more casual and more sporty uh, look with the, with the wedge heel. And in this case the frame handbag, again using that Italian uh, collaboration with some artisans in the workmanship and creating uh, a woven effect throughout the scales of the python with the lacquered closure on, uh, on the top of the bag. And the shoes is a Mary Jane uh, uh, style that is uh, again an interpretation of the Audrey bottom, very Ferragamo. Uh, the bag you see here is a clutch, we actually call it the disco clutch with the Gancino a disco in terms of circular Gencino on the front in, in metal, a, a perfect choice for evening. And also the shoe with the circular piece of hardware on the side, mixing the satin with the metallic lacquered uh, heel. Ferragamo has a unique advantage, it's rich history. So me, part of the third generation, still involved as a, Ferragamo is still a family business, but we're collaborating with uh, great designers to really make sure that we can come up with the best collections. Ferragamo creates a sense of joy and passion in every product that we create. I'm James Ferragamo. Please enjoy the collection on sax.com. <laughs>